Hi, I'm Megan Club, president of Baker Boyer Bank. And I'm Melissa Haas from the Human Resource Department. The other day, Melissa sent me an email, and she had several great questions about my service on the Federal Reserve Board of San Francisco. And actually, I've had a lot of people ask me very similar questions. So I invited Melissa to come here today so I could share my answers and share them with you as well. So Melissa, take it away. Megan, why is serving on the Federal Reserve Board so important to us here in this region, the Walla Walla Valley? The responsibilities of the directors of the Federal Reserve of San Francisco are really to provide a sounding board, a sounding board of information for the Federal Reserve Governing Board in Washington, D.C. to utilize. They send us twice a month what their plans are for monetary strategy. And we give them our opinion on whether or not we agree or disagree with the strategies that they're intending to take. So how do you give them that feedback? Our meetings, 99% of the meetings are spent talking about economic conditions. And so basically we talk about what is happening at our local level. For me, it's here in Eastern Washington and Eastern Oregon. What level of consumer confidence are we at? How are businesses planning for investments? Are they planning to hire more employees or not? And also it's really important for us to share with them what we see in terms of prices and whether or not we see any problems with inflation. We get a monthly report from the Federal Reserve economists and I guess they're just more challenged to figure out what is actually going to happen. I think the the fact that we're a global economy and that things are so volatile today makes that predictive uh, ability just a lot more difficult. So we provide, and there are um, directors, two bank directors, the rest of the directors, the other seven mm -hmm. are from um, their community leaders in for-profit and non-profit businesses. And after we collectively share and talk about what's going on, then we are told what the monetary strategy is, and I'm not asked to agree, I'm asked to give my opinion. Okay. Basically, do I agree or disagree with the strategy that Washington, D.C. is planning on taking? Okay. So you first served on the Federal Reserve Board in Portland, and, or the board in Portland, mm -hmm. and then you moved to San Francisco. What's the difference in those two positions? Actually, there's a lot of similarity, because uh, in Portland, as in San Francisco, 99% of the meetings are spent with us sharing and talking about our local economic conditions. In San Francisco, obviously, the conversation is more broad because the representatives are from the entire Western United States, including Hawaii and Alaska. And frankly, uh, the discussion uh, is directly with the president of the San Francisco board, which is John Williams. And he's a voting member in Washington, D.C. on monetary policy. So basically, I take survey information that I do, and we have this collective discussion. Um, John is great. He asks wonderful questions. He asks follow-up questions so that he's trying to get a really thorough understanding of the conditions in the western part of the United States. And then at the end, we're responsible for weighing in on our opinion on where the economy uh, what strategy should be taken. Okay. Why do you think it's so important for you to be on that board? What, what value do you bring? That is a really, really good question. The Fed has two mandates. First is to have very low levels of unemployment, and the second is to keep price stability or have very low rates of inflation. So I take my job seriously in that I am responsible for giving input and advice in order to accomplish those two objectives. As you know, way too many people are out of work today, and so I view my position as being successful is if I can provide great advice and input to those in Washington, D.C. so that they can take the right measures to get the economy growing, people back to work, and doing that without sparking inflation. Megan, I'm proud to be a Baker Boyer employee. I appreciate your open door leadership. Being able to come and talk to you right now has been important to me. There's a lot of negative press about the banking industry, the Federal Reserve. Being able to hear what you're saying, what you're doing, 
really matters. Thanks for your time. Oh, you are so welcome.